If you're like me, then this time of the year is a nightmare. Your sleep gets messed up because, sure, you can fall asleep most of the time, quite easily, but, but you'll wake up in the middle of the night because of your nose getting stuffed and you just can't breathe out of it anymore. And I'm the type of guy who can't sleep with his mouth open. Like, I just can't do it unless I sleep on my side. But even then, it's, it's difficult for me. So just the other day, I found a pretty simple technique to help me fall back asleep after I wake up due to uh, my nose getting too stuffed, if it happens. Because it doesn't happen every night, but sometimes it happens to me. And then I can't fall back asleep because my nose is too stuffed. So I'm really happy I found out about this method. So if you can relate to the problems that I describe, which is to be waking up in the middle of the night due to your nose getting too stuffed, then keep watching. I'm about to do. I'm about to show you something that'll help you out. I hope it. I hope it'll help you out. So the solution that I found is actually super simple because from my experience, I found that when I'm standing up, my nose allows my nasal cavities and all that allow me to breathe normally. I don't have any problem with being too stuffed up to breathe or this sort of thing. Although I still can't breathe as well as I normally can for sleeping. It's not an issue. Let's put it that way. So I was thinking about that when I woke up this morning and I tried to go back to sleep for like 30 or 45 minutes and I couldn't do it. So what did I do? I tried stacking pillows. And when I did that, it changed my head angle in such a way that the snot dripped down my throat into my mouth and I could swallow it and I could go back to sleep. It's possible that you can do this to achieve a full eight hour sleep, but I'm not sure if the consequences of doing that is actually worth it, and I'll tell you why. The problem with using this technique is that it's very bad for your posture. It puts your neck in this type of shape, right? Which is really bad for your posture. And it is totally possible to compensate for that bad posture during the night by maintaining good posture during the day. I don't deny this. But I'm no scientist on the matter, and it's just something to keep in mind and to weigh the pros and cons of doing that. So personally, I haven't tried to sleep for eight hours with this technique. I'm sure that it is possible, but if you do wake up in the middle of the night due to, due, due to too much congestion, this will definitely let you go back to sleep to at least get those extra couple of hours of sleep. And with that being said, everybody, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, please subscribe down below, and I'm out. Peace.